hit a thousand subscribers. Much I got paid my first time after passing the threshold. Thank you all so much for supporting me. What's up y'all, it's Akira and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I finally got monetized on YouTube. Woohoo! <laughs> Just playing. But guys, so I finally was able to get monetized on YouTube fully, which is the Google AdSense and the super, the super thanks and everything else that they have. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about um, my YouTube journey first, um, how the verification process went after I got monetized, how much I made the first time um, that I'm getting paid, because the day that I'm filming this is July 20th. And then, you know, YouTubers get paid typically between the 21st and the 26th. Um, tomorrow is the 21st, but it's a Sunday. So I should be receiving my first payout Monday. So we're going to get into that. And then at the end, I'm going to give a few tips that I personally use. And I feel that helps to grow my channel. Let's get straight into the video. So at the time of me filming this video, I currently have 1,323 subscribers. All right, if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at um, my iPad. I just have like a whole bunch of notes that I put together and a timeline of everything. So yeah, at the time of me filming, I have 1,323 subscribers. So I just wanna say thank you all so much for supporting me, for showing interest in me and showing love and interest in my videos as well. Um, it's greatly appreciated and you know, for a while, I never thought that I would get to this point or just having so many people to be interested in me and the content that I create um, is really a good feeling. And just thank y'all so much um, for that. And I hope if there's any new viewers that y'all can um, join in too. And I really love the support. So getting into my YouTube journey. So I started my YouTube channel consistently. Um, about two years ago so about two years ago is really whenever i got consistent on posting videos but all in all i have been making videos for a total of three years as i um type my notes up i was like it really doesn't seem like i've been creating videos for three years since 2021 um which is also the year that i graduated high school and i started creating the videos i believe a couple of months after I graduated high school I mean before I graduated high school and I can remember talking with this girl who, who I used to take a class with and she I don't know if she already had a channel or she said she was gonna start one but yeah so we're just talking about starting up our YouTube channel I don't know if she ever did this bright idea oh yeah I'm a um you know I just graduated high school oh, yeah if I go to college I don't know if I'll be able to have a job so I'm gonna try to post YouTube videos and then, you know, hopefully they'll help me along the way. I really thought that was gonna happen in the span of three months. <laughs> like, yeah, so I was really thinking that was gonna happen, but obviously it didn't, I don't know why I thought, but yeah, that's okay. Um, Cause everything is just a process and a journey. But yeah, y'all, so, it took me a while to reach the monetization threshold um, for the full monetization with the Google AdSense. Um, you know that the requirement is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within one year. And I remember a time where I had the 4,000 watch hours, but I didn't have the 1,000 subscribers at that time. So unfortunately, of course, I didn't meet the threshold. But by the time that I reached a thousand subscribers, I didn't have the 4,000 watch hours anymore because I had 4,000 watch hours. Then another year passed and I didn't reach the 4,000 watch hours within the new year. Cause you gotta have 4,000 watch hours within a one year's period. So um, kind of had ups and downs with that situation. So in order to try and I'm sorry if y'all hear the bugs outside. I'm sitting kind of close by the window and it's just quiet in here. But anyway, y'all, so in order to try and gain subscribers and just engagement, um, traction to my channel, I used to advertise on TikTok. Every time I would post a video, you know, I would just, I think I would use Canva and I would put my thumbnail, one, my thumbnail at the top, thumb, 
thumbnail at the bottom and then in the middle of the three collage in the middle i will put um the intro to my youtube video so i'll promote on tiktok and i'll also just make different videos to promote my channel um, trendy things that'll probably gain traction to my youtube channel the growth from doing that but not as much as i thought or not as much as other people um i didn't advertise on other social medias like snapchat or instagram because honestly i was kind of scared that people would judge me people would laugh people would be like oh what's she doing like she ain't no youtuber for real or why she thinks she can make it with youtube because i really do feel like some people don't understand that social media can literally change your life change your world for the better they a lot of people think that social media is just a game um it can't really amount to anything but if you know you, you're just blessed to do really well on social media it really can open up so many opportunities for you so that's why i was just trying to you know go so hard and not give up because i know that one day it will work out i don't i didn't know when i didn't know how long it was going to take but i knew that one day it will come it wasn't just about getting monetized though but um i know y'all don't know me in person but i am a very shy not really antisocial, but i will stick to myself initially like um you know if you talk to me i'm gonna talk to you but i most likely will not be the first person to start up the conversation but i will talk to you you know you start the conversation with me you know i'm just not as outgoing or just open as some people are and i feel like my youtube channel just allows me to be a little bit more expressive because initially it's, i'm talking to y'all but it's just me talking to myself um in the camera and then i post it and then y'all get to see so it's like me talking to y'all after the fact so it's like i do okay with just me in the camera and then i share to y'all um my life and what i'm talking about you know it just lets me open up a little bit more um show my creative side started to edit then ideas slowly start popping into my head oh what happened if you do this what happened if you make it look like this because a lot of times i think i'm not the most creative person but editing and creating con content just um it shows that i can be creative <laughs> Another reason why I like creating content and making YouTube videos. Actually, after all of the promotion, after posting at least three to four videos a month, you know, I was still in school, so I was trying to be consistent as best as I can. Eventually, I started to see my channel slowly grow in subscribers. I really started to see growth when I started to make searchable content. So that is content that people are most likely to search up on YouTube, exactly what it means. You want to kind of follow, you know, I was trying to follow the trends, try to content that people would want to watch, information that people would actually search up. Get ready with me, get ready with me are, I feel like will be popular forever just because of the aesthetic to the video. I used to work at McDonald's um, before the job that I have now. I used to work at McDonald's, at McDonald's for four years, actually. Um, so I made videos on the hiring process because I was once a manager and I did some of the hiring. So I made videos on the hiring process because I know many people, especially teenagers, they usually lean towards fast food as their first job. So I thought, you know, why not make content about it and help give them information so they can know what they're getting themselves into, so they can know what to do um, to apply for the interview process. You know just how everything works out and that video um ended up doing well right now it's at 55 56 000 subscribers and every day it's still gaining um like 100 plus views a day so it's still doing good i find that it really picked up it really picks up during the summer time which is when teenagers are trying to get their first jobs and everything so I'm glad I made that video. What's on my iPhone video that did fairly well and decorate my car with me. So that was another video that did well for me. March 12th, 2024, I hit a thousand subscribers. <laughs> I remember how I felt during that day. I know I was still in school. Um, it's the spring semester. Um, I don't know if I had work that day or if I had school, but I don't remember how I felt. I was honestly really, I was really excited. I was really happy. 
but I felt like I should have celebrated. Like I need to start celebrating small milestones more often. Like I could have bought me a tiny cake to celebrate. Um, I just could have went out to eat. I should have did something to celebrate because I know myself, you know, it took me a good three years, you could say, to gain a thousand subscribers. So yeah. I should have celebrated more, but overall, I was really excited. I was really happy that I finally made it and reached this, you know, such big milestone. So even though I hit the thousand subscribers at that time, I did not have all of my watch hours. I was very close. I think I was missing like 300 something watch hours. I was very close. So I was determined to get that. So I eventually did on May 16th, 2024, two months later, I hit my 4,000 watch hours and I was able to get monetized. So the way that I hit my watch hours was because of the moving vlogs that I posted. So my moving series, because I had just moved into my new apartment in the beginning of May. And I posted my first moving vlog on May 5th and the second moving vlog on May 12th. So both of these videos did really well in comparison to my usual views that my videos would get. So at the beginning of May, I believe, like I just said, I was missing 300 something watch hours and the moving vlogs, as the days went by and the views kept growing, it put me ahead of my 4,000 watch hours. So as soon as I got that little message on YouTube Studio, cause I would check YouTube Studio religiously refresh 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 when it shows you um it has two things it shows you subscriber count the watch hours and it had like or i think it's like i don't know if it's a y'all don't y'all correct me if i'm wrong i think it's either 10 million something in the million views for youtube shorts within 30 days i'm like i'm not gonna get that so of course i was focused on the subscribers and the watch hours so the bars went away baby them two bars that i was trying to Reach 100%, they went away. Cause your girl, she made it, okay? So as soon as I got that little message, I turned on ads on every single one of my videos, okay? And I remember it was 5 a.m. in the morning. Cause I, every day I could see my watch I was getting closer and closer and closer. So every morning I would check it religiously, every afternoon to see if it had updated. So yeah, it was 5 a.m. I know I had to get ready for work in a few. But I sat there for a little while and I just made sure that I understood like how to turn on the ads and I put them on my videos. You know, I got to choose how many ads I wanted for the length of the video. So obviously for short videos, you don't want to put too many ads um, cause no one wants, you know, the ads to keep popping up like every few minutes. And on the longer videos, you can kind of space it out better, put a little bit more, but yeah. So I did all of that. Next, we're gonna get into the verification process. Later on that day, or when I got off, maybe the next day, um, I had to fill out some information in YouTube Studio and link my bank account on my preferred way of payment. So after I linked my bank account, a few business days later, they deposited, I think it was a few cents into my account. I don't remember how exactly how much it was, I think it was a dollar or a little bit less than a dollar. So YouTube Studio, um, after I linked my bank account, they deposited a certain amount. And then once I seen that deposit, I had to go back into YouTube Studio and enter that exact amount so that they can see that um, is the correct account to deposit my money into. I had to verify my account. After I verified my bank account, I had to verify my address. So after I entered my home address, they sent um, an envelope type card. Um, I'll try to put the picture right here with a code in it. The card was delivered to my home. I had to enter the code onto YouTube Studio to verify my address. So after that, um, I was done, pretty much done and everything was settled. Um, in order to receive payment, you have to meet the $100 threshold within the billing period to get paid it could be from the first of the month i think it's from the first of the month to the you know to the last day of the month or it could be a few days into the beginning of the next month so that's i think that's what it's showing on my youtube studio 
YouTube pays um, once a month between the 21st and the 26th. And like I said earlier, if those dates, like the 21st, 22nd, falls on the weekend, there's a good chance that you'll get paid on the following business day. So let's talk about how much I got paid my first time after passing the threshold. So whenever you see and hear my numbers, um, do not get discouraged. I'm still a really small YouTuber and none of my videos have blown up just yet, but I'm manifesting that my videos just start to um, not really blow up, but I start to get more, you know, I guess you could say blow up, get more engagement and, you know, just have people that or supporters that actually come back and watch my videos consistently. So I'm just, you know, kind of waiting to get to that point. Um, another reason why like my numbers aren't so high is because my RPM is really low. Um, and I know it's because my channel isn't receiving much engagement. So hopefully it'll get that RPM will increase within a few months. And I got this on Google. So RPM is revenue per meal. So it's a metric that represents how much money you have earned per 1,000 views. RPM is your total revenue. RPM is the creator's total revenue after YouTube's cut per 1,000 views. What well, CPM is what the advertisers pay and RPM is your cut after YouTube takes its cut. I noticed that my RPM has been different depending on the type of video that I make. For example, my moving vlog, um, the RPM is $5.17, but with my McDonald's video, the RPM is $1.03. So I'm not sure why that is, but I do know that RPM has a lot to do with um, popularity of the video, popularity of your channel, what kind of niche, what kind of video categories you are creating. And I'm pretty sure, you know, viewer engagement and how much traction you actually get to your channel. Because obviously the more engagement and traction you get, the more that advertisers will want to um, pay you more and you know, they'll display their ads more because they know that you can potentially, you know, get make them a lot of money. My first payment should be in a few days and I will be paid $102.75. So I know that may not seem like a lot to some people, but I'm very grateful for this money because that's $100, $102.75 that I wouldn't even have if I didn't, if I wasn't doing this, I wasn't gonna have that $100. So it doesn't hurt to have extra funds. So I'm very grateful, very happy for that. And I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Okay, instead of using the money for my check, I can go grocery shopping, make some extra groceries, okay? So let's kind of break it down and how my pay journey has been. So my first month being monetized, I got monetized on May 16th. So from May 16th to May 31st, I made $35.43, with most of the income being from my moving vlogs. So I was only monetized 15 days that month. In June, I made a little bit more, I made $67.33. So this consisted of the full month of June um, with the working at McDonald's video, bringing in most of my income. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, the McDonald's video I posted on December 5th of 2022, and it currently has about 56,000 views. And this video continues to grow every day. So I'm really happy about that. And we're in July. So in July, so far, I have made $34.50. So yeah, we're gonna see how, we got about 10 more days. We got 10 more days in July. So eager to see like how much it can grow. Um, I know I have this video that I'm gonna post and I should be able to post one more video in July. So we're gonna see how July goes based on the last two videos that I post. Hey guys. And finally, we can talk about some of the tips that I have used or that I have seen that have grown my channel. One, once again, is posting searchable content. So if you're just starting out your YouTube channel, I would say start with searchable content first. So try and use searchable content to build a support base 
then um, once you get like a consistent support base, people actually, you know, come back in, watch your videos, they enjoy your personality. Then you can try and, you know, make regular lifestyle vlogs or venture into ideas that are less trendy once you have a support base that will watch that type of content from you. So that's what I had to learn. My videos that have done the best are videos that I consider searchable content. In the beginning, I used to make a lot of lifestyle vlogs, day in the lives, school day in my life, and it my videos wouldn't do um, well. They for sure would not do as well as the searchable content that I make. So I'm still trying to make um, searchable content, and then I think I'll always make searchable content, but also, you know, I'm just ready for that I can kind of make lifestyle vlogs you know kind of be more on the chill side you know and people will still want to watch the content that i put out the tip is of course to promote your content and social media sites on all platforms so i feel like the best site to do that on right now is tiktok um tiktok is really so easy to blow up on to get good engagement and you want to just keep promoting your content everywhere because you never know when the promotion videos will blow up and the type of people that it will reach the next tip is really cliche but of course be consistent if youtube sees you being more active they will push out your content more and people will start to look forward to your videos more often like if you set up a posting schedule you know i'm gonna post on Tuesdays and Fridays, and people will actually probably turn on their post notifications or just simply tune, remember to tune into your channel on Tuesdays and Fridays because they want to see you. And I feel like that will just keep your engagement high and of course, keep your supporters happy and just bring new people to your channel. The next tip I have is to try and stick to one or just a few types of niches so that you can gain an audience that will keep returning for certain types of videos. Um, I know some YouTubers, some big YouTubers, like for example, Quan, um, he has several different niches, but he, he has them all on separate channels. I think he has his lifestyle vlog channel, his car channel, and a live stream channel. He may have a few more channels, but those are the ones that I know of. And then that way, whenever... Like even when it comes to brand deals, the car company was to give him a deal with his cars. Maybe if he had all of his niches mixed up, like car, lifestyle, um, his gaming, maybe the car company would, would have missed some of his greatest car videos, you know, because he just has so many different niches on one channel. Get to one niche or a few types of videos, well, advertisers kind of get a clear view of what kind of content you bring. Lastly, do not give up. Do not, do not, do not. Keep posting. Do not get discouraged. It will happen one day. And it all work out. You know that little song? I like that song. Not the man who originally made the song. And I know Lil Wayne made a mix to it, but it'll all work out okay so don't give up stay consistent don't get discouraged and just keep it pushing you know keep writing down your ideas keep planning you know look at other people's channels for for, for inspiration look on tiktok just keep doing what you're doing okay because one day whatever goal you're trying to reach you're going to reach it one day you have nothing but time on your hands okay so yes guys that was it for today's video um, I hope y'all got some new information and I just wanted to share my monetization process and that I finally got monetized. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one.